trainers to another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go. And today we are checking out a Mewtwo raid. <clears throat> Sorry about that. We are checking out a Mewtwo raid today. So I will straight up admit I didn't get an invite. So before you know, this is not my own video. This is a video that my friend took I also was not able to go out there myself and film it. I was busy filming and doing things for the event. That video is uh, uh, going to be out this week. Um, so, this is my friend's video that she sent to me in her beautiful grace so that I could use it to show all y'all. So, everybody thank her. Don't thank me. Thank her. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, let's get on to it. First off, it's half screenshot and then half video. So, to start off, this is what the invitations look like. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already seen these uh, when they first debuted up in Bellevue and in Japan. Uh, now they have spread to, I believe, Philly, Chicago, California, uh, Vancouver, and it was actually two places in Vancouver. There was the Sprint one at the mall, and then there was the Sprint one at uh, out way out on 192nd. I, I'm glad I went to my friend's one out on 192nd, but apparently there was like 100 people at the one at the mall. Oh, I would have loved to seen that hype. Oh my lord. So, this is the screenshot of before the raid. It was at a Sprint store out on 192nd. So I, I still want to click on it and like try and rotate it even though I know I can. But um, yeah, that's, that's, so that's what it looks like. When I went there, I ended up showing up after. I was too late to film anything. When I went there, the gym literally just looked like a normal gym. There was nothing above it whatsoever. It was completely just a normal gym. And then when you clicked on it, then a notification popped up that said that this gym is in a raid or is in an exclusive raid and we'll be back at 7 p.m. So it was really interesting because everybody else, I mean, obviously everybody else was getting that same thing, but literally the exclusive raid pass is like super exclusive. Like only you see it, only you get it, only you get to know what's going on. Anybody else has to literally look at your phone in order to see anything. It's really interesting. And then the next screenshot is the two second before countdown. She's got her lineup of amazing T-Tars all uh, powered up. I had been talking to her before. She was getting them all ready and doing raids and getting candies so that way she could power them all up and get ready. And looks like that's a pretty damn good team. So she has them all literally labeled like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like these are the ones that are being used. So really good lineup. That's really what you guys should be doing too. Uh, any of your Tyranitars, any of your uh, dark type move Pokemon. That's what you're gonna wanna use against Mewtwo. You're also going to want, they have about 14 people. You're still gonna want at least 10. That's what I've been hearing. You at least want 10. People, you know, people always wanna, well, you could probably do it with like five to seven if you had all 40s and we knew what we were doing. Yeah, probably, but no thanks. I would like to have a more diverse group. And now, the pace de resistance. They started the video at about uh, a good, wow, 230 seconds left. So it must be like 400 seconds for... So they had it already about a good 75% down. Uh, look at her cute little nail, tapping away. And, and look, it's all T-Tars in there. It's all T-Tars. <laughs> And she's on a tablet too. Three hyper potions, three rare candies, nine golden raspberries, five super potions, 10,000 XP. Oh, I thought there'd be more. Six, three, nine. My lucky number. Twenty-two, thirty-two. So far, nobody's really been able to figure out the IVs. A lot of the poke calculators don't have the correct IVs yet. Waiting for that attack. 
See, and then exactly, there's some times where you just gotta throw it. You just gotta throw it. I would be shaking. I would literally be shaking. Because you know that while she was doing this, that device was probably heating up on her. In the Because I know when I'm at huge raids, like the connectivity gets lack critical catch. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so, and as she ended that, let's see if it's a wonder. So, 232, and it is a wonder. So, she hasn't quite figured out the IVs on it yet, but she has powered it up since. So, she's now at 2679 for her Mewtwo. Used all of her candies. I assume she'll probably, you know, add the rare candies and whatnot. And she also sent us a screenshot. She got 20 items from that EX Raid, and that EX Raid even has its own little symbol as well. Mewtwo Cot, that's beautiful to see in your journal. Ugh, super jelly. You know, while I'm sitting over here like this. But there you go, a Mewtwo Raid. So, the they, right now, they're still in betas, according to. They are all still in beta. But before we go, let's let's little backtrack. So his CP is 49. So once you get into that battle, his CP will be 49 for 30. The highest CP we have seen so far in any of the raid bosses. So he's pretty powerful, people. Don't underestimate him. Yes, he's easy to take down if you have a large group, of course. They didn't design it to be impossible. But they did design it to be impossible if you're trying to do it with only like five people. Not gonna happen. So make sure if you get an EX raid, I don't know if after this they're gonna release them all, if they're done with beta testing or if they're gonna do more. If you get an invite, one, tweet it to me. Two, be sure to find which, not find which location, make sure your location has other people coming and make sure they're all there to meet up because also the raid that I ended up going to at the end, there were still five guys waiting for other people to show up so they could do it too because unfortunately they showed up late. So one, don't be late. And two, if you are, just try and make sure that you've already coordinated a, a group. You do not want to miss out on this. Uh, it's exclusive for a reason. But that's it. Sorry I couldn't get uh, out there myself to get, you know, like 100% quality footage. But I am thankful enough to even get this because I didn't even get an invite. I didn't even make it there on time. So the fact that I could even put out this video for you is all thanks to Rachel. So thank you very much. I so much appreciate it. And I'm going to steal your Mewtwo. Just kidding. But either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a good a critical catch on a freaking Mewtwo. Like, you don't see that every day, and especially not for a while since it's all in beta. So, scroll down, give me that like, you know you wanna. Maybe consider subscribing if you're not. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button, so that way you're notified of the next upload. And we'll see you then, trainers. Bye!